If you like to eat and read, you're going to love this. I'd like to introduce Karen and Art Murdoch from the Travel Traveler Food and Books. I love this. This is a restaurant in Union, Connecticut, which, as I told you guys, population 839 as of 2017. Pretty close? Yeah. All right. The Traveler Restaurant, it piqued my interest because I saw this on my Facebook feed, and I thought, where is that? Where exactly are you? Where's it located? Uh, we're right off of I-84, exit 74, uh, right before the Massachusetts line. So you're right on that border. Yeah, you can see Mass from, from where we are. You can yeah. see Mass from where you are. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I love that. Yeah. All right, tell me about the restaurant. Let's take a look at the first picture. This is what it looks like from the outside. A few folks are up in Union in um, Mashapog. Yeah. That's the village of Mashapog where yeah. you guys are. So this is the outside. Why did you buy this restaurant? The previous owner uh, was looking, he was just about 70 years old, and he's looking to get out. And my mother had worked at the restaurant for a number of years, and he approached us and... I was already working there. Oh, and you were, so you see, their husband yes. and wife, so see, yep. here we go. You were already working there. Yeah. Yep. yep. And you and weren't married then? Oh, yes. were you? Oh, you oh, were. Yeah. And so you said to Art, we're going to buy this place? Well, he offered it to us and let us run it for a year. To see if we really wanted to do it, and there we are. And was it food and books then, or have you expanded that? Oh, it was then. It yes. was then. Yes. All right. So let's let's look at the next picture. If you haven't seen this place, Oprah has. Okay. Yes. It was it was in Oprah's magazine as our favorite food finds of the 50 states, and it was also in U.S. of Yum. What is U.S. of Yum? That was in the old magazine. I'm really not. But but you're there. Yep. We're and there. so then along the way, actress Susan Sarandon finds you, and there she is. Were you were you there when she walked in the door? Uh yeah. Yes. Yeah. What kind of gal yeah. is she? She's very pleasant. She walked around. Uh, the gentleman in the picture was a customer. She was more than happy to take pictures. Uh, we've had a number of people pop in. All right. So like who? Who's popped in up there in Union? Uh Bill Murray. I'll be Came in one February morning. And how was he? Oh, he was great. He had a great time. He looked at books. He and his son, I think they were coming or going to college or something, and he picked out books. He danced around. He was, he was. You don't have videos of those, do you, Art? No. Oh, no, I have darn it. <laughs> oh, you have a picture. Yeah. Who else? So you got uh, Bill Murray, Susan Sarandon. Um, oh, he's. Uh, a cast of thousands? Well. Uh, um, oh, the boss, uh, yep. Bruce Springsteen, oh, Bruce, stopped through oh. there. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yep, yep, yep. And um, the thing about this is, so you've owned it for 25 years, mm -hmm. and you really don't advertise at all. Your website yeah. is I, sort of there. It, it, just barely, yeah. And your Facebook page is sort of there. Yeah, that too. <laughs> so how are you so popular? Uh, other people put, a, put us on everywhere. and It's generational it, it, too. We have people coming in all the time that said, oh, I used to come here when I was a kid, and now I'm bringing my kids and my college kids and back and forth. Because we're on the highway, um, you know, between New York and Boston, or the Cape, or New Hampshire. This was a stop by. So you serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm -hmm. When do you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> on uh, Christmas and Thanksgiving. That's the only two days we close. That you close. All right, looking at some more pictures, just, I want to show you why I was so fascinated about this place. So you can eat and basically go to the library. Tell me about this picture. There's bookcases all over the, the dining room. And where are the books coming from, Art? They come uh, largely uh, it's donations and also uh, friends of the library have uh, book sales. And we uh, purchase what's left over or, and, and go gather them and that, and that sort of thing. Now, do people come and read the books and take them home with them? How does yeah. this work? Yeah. Everybody gets three free books with their meal. All right, so you sit down. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've picked out the three books before you start eating, and you just take them home with you. That's it. Yep. Wh whose concept was that? The, our previous owner that we uh, bought the uh, restaurant from, uh, he had a, he was overflowing with books, he was an avid reader, so he started putting them on the counter and just go ahead and take them and it's just grown from that. Do you realize what a, what a wonderful place you've created mm. there? 
It's really neat. It's a very casual atmosphere. People walk around and talk to each other all the time, and you know they get into book conversations or just on anything. So it's not your typical sit-down restaurant. You don't sit down. You move around and you just enjoy the place. I can't wait to get there. <laughs> How many people do you seat? We can seat up to 135. 135. Talking about yeah. books and food. I love that. <laughs> All right, some more pictures that we have. This says bookseller downstairs. So there's an upstairs and a downstairs. The downstairs filled yeah. with books as well? Yes. Tell me about that. Oh, that's overflow room? <laughs> Uh, the books downstairs are categorized and for sale. And okay, so, so there, are they room. newer books? Uh, they can be all, anything. All subjects. All subjects. And one more photo of the books that are downstairs. How cozy does this look? Who is in charge of all these books? You guys too? Yep. Wait, so, so you run the restaurant mm -hmm. and you categorize all the books and you, so when you check out, you can have the free books plus books you buy. Yeah, sure. So people are spending hours in there? Yes. <laughs> yes, definitely. We had one guy this morning that was, he must have been there four hours anyways. He bought some books, he had breakfast, he took his free books. Yeah, it's a destination for some people. What are some of the generational stories that you have? You've owned it 25 years. You must get all kinds of stories from the families. You want to share some of those with me? It's a daily thing, really. Um, people have been coming forever. I mean, they may be regular customers, but only four times a year, every time from Pennsylvania to here to there, whatever. A lot of college students back and forth with their families. So they start out coming with their parents and then end up bringing their kids after that. It's I just think it's nice. a wonderful concept. What have you learned about people that come through the door, Art? I know, they're all great. It, it's, uh, it's an interesting experience. It you is, guys yep. are so humble because you've created this really cool thing and you're just, well, it's just a way of life for us. <laughs> what we do every it. day. <laughs> and tell me yep. about the, the kind of food that you serve. A little bit of everything, um, from seafood to steaks and, you know, all kinds of breakfast stuff. Uh, are there secret recipes that you guys have? That, I mean, what's your number one seller up there? We do so much stuff uh, it all sells. I don't yeah. know. But is the, are, are, yeah. do you have a special pancake or do you have a special sandwich? Uh, yeah, a lot of different combinations. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. uh, this morning uh, I, ma I made uh, raspberry pancakes and we had you know uh, corned beef hash and, and eggs. A, you, so a little have, bit of everything. So do you consider yourself a diner or more a restaurant? It used to be more like a diner but we've broadened it, uh, the menu a lot more. Uh, and uh, so it's kind of like a, it's American style restaurant, basically, I guess. They How many people do you it. employ? We have, uh, we got about 13. 13 people? Yep. And is that generational too, where you have the same family oh, members? Most kind definitely. Of? Yeah. yeah, one of our cooks, he's, uh, his mom worked for us and his brothers, both brothers. So we have, a long following in their family, Chris Mita. Um, yeah, because sometimes their kids, uh, the wait staff, some of their kids will come in and do, do dishes or whatever. So it, it just keeps going around and around. Now you're f from Union. You grew up where? I'm originally from Vermont, but I grew up in the Vernon area. Okay. Yeah. Did you think as a married couple you would end up running a restaurant slash library bookstore? No, never in a million years. What's the greatest thing about this? Close to home. Uh, keeps you busy. Yeah, constantly. Uh, just yeah. And puts Union good. on the map. Because when yeah. I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, I've never seen this place before. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Has it brought you joy, too, over the 25 years, Karen? It has, and we've met, we've met a lot of really, really great people. And even um, we do all the book runs together, Art and I. So we have a 16-foot horse trailer. Wait, book runs meaning picking up the books from yep. the libraries? No. Yep. You really don't sleep. <laughs> do you guys have kids, like, too, that, that yes. help out? Uh, they're pretty past that. They all did their time. But, uh, <laughs> they all yeah. did their time. <laughs> <laughs> but they ran, though. But, uh. So if you, if you had to describe to somebody who's never been here before, what's the atmosphere like? What, what does it feel like when you walk in the door? Well, first, people don't know what to think because they walk in the door and see all the books. 
so they don't have any clue other than the fact they will have looked at the sign and gone, I have been going to stop here forever just as a curiosity because it just says food and books. So that kind of, they don't know what to expect. You know? And so do your servers say, hey, by the way, did you pick up your, you know, your three oh, free absolutely. books? So that's just, that's on the menu. Yeah. What's the biggest joy this, this particular ownership has brought you, Art? Oh, I don't know. Uh, it's, uh, it's, boy, the other good one. Um, I, I guess I like being self-employed and doing our own thing. It, it's been real interesting being unique and, uh, and, and the attention comes to us. And just, I'm just a workaholic. That's it. Well, I guess so. Well, I knew after I saw it, I picked up the phone and called Karen this morning and said, "Hey, you want to come down and do this interview? Because I'm just fascinated by what you're doing." I just want to thank you so much for doing what you're doing and a love of books and food, and it works. And folks should stop by in Union Traveler Food and Books. You're going to remember it forever. Thanks so much for coming on. I appreciate it. Well, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Spend all night kissing and it walks right here, then who else is missing? Got a little sidetrack to find my solution. I find a piece of the door, but it's also a metaphor. Things keep going to the grocery store of a mind. Just the same time, skip right ahead to the nice ride.